Hello everybody, welcome to my Jill reading. This is Seth Michelson coming to you from the woods in rural Virginia uh, to read some translations that I've done into English from the poet Liliana Ankalao, who's a Mapuche poet uh, and lives in what the Mapuche, the one of the indigenous groups of the Southern Cone of South America, called Puel Mapu, which is uh, the Mapuche territories east of the Andes in what today might be known territorially as Argentina. She was born in 1961 in a town in Argentina in the state of Chubut in the south called Viadema. And I'll read for you a brief excerpt from a testimonial essay and two poems. Uh, and I'd like to thank Larissa Kaiser and Elizabeth Redfield for organizing this visionary series, which is as beautiful, it is, as beautiful as it is crucial. And Marissa Davis, too, from Washington Square Review, uh, for making this possible in her way. So this is The Silenced Language, and it's a testimonial essay, one of many, by the great Mapuche poet Liliana Ancalao. Although it was only 100 years ago, it seems to my generation like some mythical age. The Mapuche could roam freely across their territory and communicated with the elements of the Mapu. Mapuzungun means language of the land. The land speaks. All its beings have language, and the Mapuche know it. Mapuzungun was the first language. It was taught and learned in optimal conditions. In the shade of elders, new saplings grew. A perfect green preceding the rituals near the water. The women would sing their tabules, which transmitted power. And the pride of being who one is was not a philosophical question. But the death that has crept towards the first peoples of the Americas since 1492 left no stone unturned in the South. The war for the desert, the Winca raids, signaled military defeat and the occupation of territory by the Argentine state. The end of the world took place 100 years ago. Mapuzungun became the language for expressing pain, the language of despondence during the divvying up of men, women, and children as slaves. The clandestine whisper in the concentration camps, the language of solace among prisoners of war, the language for thought. It was the language of the long road of exile, the distance of banishment, of the harsh march of our great-grandparents to reservations, Ka Mapu. Our grandparents were sent to rural schools and made bilingual by force. But however banned by the schools, where teachers shamed children for their home language, Mapuzungun endured. And here are two poems by Liliana Ankalao. This one's titled Women and the Cold. Pusomo Engu Wutre. In Chekimun Wutre Feiti Pitisomongen Guardapolvo Meu Sumin Clay. In Chenichao Ni Ramder Classic Amula Fui Milei in Amuntuel Escuela Meu Katritman Tuini. Chipuwa fun foro katayo in pichilo, in chenge fun kinyeke luku kuchafulu, bifuin na uche, tain lelia el chipusungu ni kuyuan ni kompank lea el. Chipu nyuke kon uchele ingun, in cheni nyuke pichi somongei, kushamen meu miau y alpargata meu piren meu, kin tumapulu pukapura. Inche con un pañen ni nyuke, ni chocon que namun. Ka kinyegu yasuan kapurra tu fei en gupo foñan lu, kamulei ni kintuche no rume. Ni nyuke, en un gein meu, reinei kinye con clen. Mulei ni en un geael pichiqueche, kuku, fulí, namun, pilun. Fei pika chemingun ni pu chankin ni putapul. Ne wena yewengun pichike che pukenmeu. 
Kakinye que me gusta y papá y antú café y engún, tacula y engún, chem, chem, yelú, ampulipan, mlei, in, wellimael, fei, pichique, chanquiñi, yochi, sungún, meu. Wellúchi, gutrelo, mel, yelai, in, chequín, tu fei, pune, pulef, los, meu. Mércule, in, guarrupa, meu, in, piuquelis, mapu, meu. Eufemia, urcutufui, camarricún, rupun, meu. Cachipun, reyimini, pichical, chi cachumeu. Uña fui, eufemia nepei, chi changrin, chi calmeu. Cachibutre tu fei rupa, uña fui. Ca nebuena ye fui en uin chin. Suchalei tu fauche, piein meu. Chipuso mo, ki muina luantu. Iñe a el quiñantu mongen meu. Amulelu, chilcalelu, quiñe, quichalrupu, guarria meu. Huelu, suam nielain, quimlan, chen meu, liancun, tufachi, tufeiru, panantu, inche, suam nefun. Ucaru, calmedia, rupu, guarria, cachitulu. Chipu, guarria meu, utre, yifcuein meu, chipu, luli, cataifos, capel meu. Yon, chunyei. Fem ne chimi al fun, ka chipun meu. Mule fui kinye wenchu in che ni kawitu, ka kinye pichi we chengain, ka kinye konangai. Che kupane yu la funa wan meu. Nye ei kume ketakuku, chufa wenchu. Fai meu chen meu in che amun, pelu ni kintu el in che, nyas kutu en eu. Ke la faulul pu ishim reforo. Inche niañe meu, chum nie chi u kuma u kunyan, pila lua mi inche, trema kunulu u yon mulei, vilen, tufa u tre meu, kal fumo el fun, u tre. As a girl in overalls, I learned the cold was dark, when my father's rambler classic wouldn't start, meaning we'd walk to school, cutting through weather, fangs biting into our scant flesh. I was two knees that ached. We'd say, what cold, to see the vapor of our breath and have company. All mothers have endured the cold. My mother was a girl in Cushamen, wore slippers in the snow, pasturing goats. I was born with the memory of her frozen feet and a bad impression of goats those dopes that wander and get lost, so you have to set out to find them in all that vastness. My mother used to bundle us up, she who is like an interiority. Children must be bundled up, chest, back, feet, and ears. They say it like that. And they grow the branches and the leaves and defend the children against winter, and even when the sun comes out, they're still bundling, because their arms move by habit, and those layers must be removed slowly, with words. But I don't always know the cold, because that night in Aldea Epulef, we barely slept in the barren field around our heart. Eufemia slept the dance of Camaruco, and the night confused your short hair with the grass. It was dawn, and Eufemia woke with ice in her hair, and this time the cold had a mouth, and it laughed with us, telling us the cold is getting old. We women learn late that there's a time in life when we unintentionally leave burning footprints throughout the neighborhood. I don't know how we miss it. And this afternoon, I need wool socks to traverse the streets. In cities, the cold rakes our flesh, pricks our nape, grows verbose. I was in it, and at night, There'd be a man in my bed, or a child, or boy. I didn't want to breathe deeply. The man had bundled hands. So why did I leave? To see if he'd set out to find me or leave me? So that skeletons of birds could embed themselves in my face? I will be like the echo of silence if I'm not found to make myself pretty. This cold, blue blood that opens in me an abyss. 
in the final poem, and thank you for listening to Liliana Galau's beautiful words. It's titled Daughters, and it's in four parts. Somoke Pinyan, Kinye. Incemi ufun, we chu somo rekemongen meu. Kunil tu ke chipe i kunyun, chem pilinyangun, inchemeu. Fentren me shasomo futarasken meu. Ka yegumangen, epu pinyan, yegwen pinyan. Fentren ne nyengu, wiluf ni chonigun. Amuingu ni gulumam, ni kmel kunuam puantu. Richi trivisol kabitina meu, rantuna ingu con tu eneu. Epu, yeguña ingu, kuchalua yuske ingu sumin meu, mulefu ingu pu ningo, meliwichan mapumo. Kimuyu tufachilikan, nilayu koske, kawente el tekutakun. Kila Mnane wene pupichiche ne wen klelu Liostu ingu kinye chou Ni chaituan feyengu ni pelo Fenchen pelo ni eukaru sungu Inchiu meu icho ne wen kunuguyu Ka feyengu huchan ne ingu Meli, tunten meu suma pepilan, tu fachi curu futru tu eneu irko chusken, cani eneu tu fai meu inche chongun. Uirongu canu la ingu tu fachi fane puerta, rupa ingu ni ayen meu ente pilu tunglen, kupalungu kinye chos rayen. Kmenu munia i punan tu cui tu fachi valdio meu inche meu. Inchemulen femnechi, nepelen cura de que. Inaipiai, mulean tu fameu, fil que rupa, vinole, engu. Daughters, one. I walked through life so defeated, I'd pitifully imagine them saying of me, so lost at sea. Then two dawn daughters were born to me, with brilliant, restless, innumerable eyes. They came to repair me, organize my days in shelves of milk, infamil, and vitina. Without even asking, they'd invaded me. They were born, sorry, two. They were born, and fish flashed in the darkness, and there were jaws in the four corners. We learned the biting fear of having no bread or shelter for you. Three. What resistance by such little people, lying in wait in a crack, a fissure, through which filters their light, their disordering light, their insufferable truth. Just for us, making us stronger. Just for us, who feel dwarfed by them. Four. And when I can't go on, when the wind slaps me with blows of ash and pins me there near extinguished, they shout open the heaviest doors, break out in laughter over the most deafening silence, and have brought to me, to me, one of those yellow flowers wet with perfume from wild land. They go following a new friend who collects horn beetles. That way I stay remembered like a stone who says, I will be here every time you return. Thank you very much.